What's up everybody, it's Buggy Brent. Welcome back to the channel. I've been testing out uh, eBuggy quite a bit. eBuggy's been taking up my life a little bit as of lately, but that's okay. So, real quick, eBuggy, what's new? For me, with eBuggy, I'm gonna start running the Nitro body. I absolutely love the look of the B8 body for the Nitro car. What I would recommend doing, if you want a Protec battery at least, um, go with the 5600 milliamp. So, I recently got that battery. I've been testing that battery. What's nice about it, it's about a hundred and almost 150 grams lighter than the 6500 milliamp. And uh, you know, you're losing what? Roughly a thousand milliamps, 900 milliamps, which I don't think is all that much. But this is the 5600 milliamp Protec battery. But what's cool about it, it is a little bit um, shorter as far as height, as you can see there. And what's cool is with this battery um, placed in the tray and all that good stuff, the nitro body fits perfect. It doesn't, that battery doesn't really rub. Um, you can get away with running this body uh, with this bigger battery, but uh, it definitely, this battery will definitely tear up the body um, for sure if you crash. But uh, this battery, I think in general is much better for this car anyways. And also guys, you'll see online, um, a lot of our uh, other teams uh, in other countries are actually running uh, two batteries, are running two two cells wired up in series. And uh, a lot of them guys have been liking that. I have yet to try that. So that's something I may try in the future. But for now, I really am enjoying this uh, single big brick battery and uh, E-Buggy's been pretty fun as of lately. I've been thrashing the E-Buggy. And what I've been testing as of lately is we've had a small issue with the center diff um, leaking, um, particularly with the plastic gear, the stock plastic gear. So we're kind of doing more testing, trying to figure out a way to make that plastic gear work. And just to show you, I have a lot of parts I'd like to go over with you guys too, but uh, like here's two brand new plastic gears. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna do some more testing um, and try to get those to work. But in my opinion with the e-buggy guys, um, if you go ahead and purchase this e-buggy, I highly recommend getting the steel uh, 46 tooth gear. So that's what I have on the e-buggy now. 46 tooth steel gear, zero leaks, everything works as it should. That's probably the only little minor thing with the RE buggy as of right now is for me and some other guys, not, not everybody, but uh, we're kind of having some center diff fluid leaks. And, and generally I think where it's coming from is just the way myself and some others are assembling it. So that's why I got two other gears and I'm gonna kind of a, approach it a different way in the assembly. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be like that, right? So still gear, 100%, you'll be fine. No matter how you assemble it, it'll work. So that's eBuggy, guys. It's been a lot of fun. Um, been kind of tuning with it, driving it, a chick saw, and all that good stuff. And I personally love the Nitro uh, body on the eBuggy. And, and, and so what I ended up doing is I also got two new bodies. Uh, one's gonna be for e-buggy, and I'm gonna have another body for the nitro buggy with a similar paint scheme as the nitro, but for the e-buggy. And uh, kind of get that official on my e-buggy. Now this is my very first body, practice body for nitro. I've been running it on the e-buggy though, so that's why it's got the cutouts. 